And then I'm gonna say, welcome to the Gamer Just Duo Podcast, Podcast number Pad- 21. Yeah, I, I, it, w- it was initially a slip up. No, my, like, I'm just going with it. We are now the Gamer Just Duo Podcast. We're going pad <laughs> racing. All right. On iTunes. On iTunes. Hey. hey. <laughs> nice little, uh, nice little mention there. Yeah. Ugh. So we are an entertainment podcast that mostly talks about PlayStation, Destiny, sometimes. PC things, sometimes PC games, you know, uh, you know a decent mm-hmm. amount of time, uh, TV, movies, a lot of TV talk, actually, movies, Lots of TV talk. Um, comics every now and then, I'm the only one that reads them, but, you know, it's, it's fun right. stuff, it's right. it's right. it's right. it's gonna be okay, <laughs> one day, one day you will read, have money to them. buy them, <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> It's true. Dude, I miss buying comics. I really do. I miss, like, going to the comic book store and getting the comic book. It's so sad. Yeah. I also really want to get caught up on the Walking Dead comics. Like, I really mm-hmm. want to get caught up on those. They look... Dude, they, they have... They the get really cool. Graphic novels at my library. Yeah. At your Walking library? Dead. Yeah. All right. That's kind yeah. of awesome, but... I can just check, like, both of them out and watch... Wait, are they're... they, like, the huge ones? Or... No, they're like that big. Are there only two of them? No, I, there might oh, okay. be more than two. Because but... I own like twelve, <laughs> and I'm only like. Oh no, these the are series. like thick and tall, and I don't know. Here, I let me show you the ones that I own, <clears throat> or one of the ones that I. Own. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see what he has. These are the ones yeah. that I own. They're like this. No, no, they're a lot bigger. A lot, lot bigger than that. Well, They're then like there's probably that's probably this is yeah. like one volume. I've seen those before. They contain like they contain like four or five. Yeah, volumes. I saw the I w- was flipping through and I saw the um, part where what? Governor was getting his face wrecked. Oh, oh you, yeah, you um, opened it and someone was getting their face wrecked. The governor was nice. So yeah, nice, dude. Michonne goes ham on Michonne. the governor. In the comics. <laughs> she, yeah. She does something really, really, yep. really unspeakable. If you think yep. about it, it's pretty yep. horrifying. But I really, I really want to get back into. They're this. cool. Yeah, and I, I really there's a there's new DC comic stuff happening in June. Like they're rebooting a ton yeah, of like, stuff yeah, and changing what? a ton of stuff. <laughs> <sighs> that is Marvel. <laughs> yeah. They're rebooting Teen Titans. They are getting a new creative team on Arrow. They're like making a bunch of new series, cutting a bunch of old series. So it's it's they're kind of like rebooting the whole universe. So I I kind of want to jump on that when that starts. Hot you girl, know? hot girl, yeah, yeah. She's a power she's girl. a power girl. Power girl, of course. Your your favorite, <laughs> everyone's yeah. favorite. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, better than Batman. Than <laughs> better than Batman. Better than Batman and sliced bread. <laughs> the new the new the new uh catchphrase for power girl yeah. she flies in and she's, i'm better than batman and sliced bread uh, <laughs> that'd be great so eric let's, let's uh let's let's calm it down a bit let's just let's right. get real nice real chill real relaxed you know? what are you playing Mellow. what am i playing <laughs> um you thought gosh, i was gonna get this you guys have gotten well. At least you. We've like gotten back into League. Yes. Of Legends. League of Legends. Gotten, gotten yeah. back into that. It, it's, it's not. I'm not proud like of myself. <laughs> I'm not proud of myself, but I have gotten uh, back into it a little bit. A little bit. You know, not totally. I just. I've mostly just been playing with friends. I have not played yeah. a solo queue game yet, but I'm sure I will. Yeah. Because once I get into it, I get into it hard. But now I I can very much manage it between other games. Like I I played a decent amount of Destiny today, and then I jumped on League. I can do that on uh, a lot of the days where I don't work because I don't um I graduated early, so I don't have any classes. So I can um I can just I can like on the days that I don't work, I can play some Destiny, some Borderlands, some, some Persona. Jump on League. Of- Probably not, but <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but I could, and then uh, jump on League of Legends at night with friends. So that that's the plan. So 
what else have you been playing? We'll talk more about League in a bit. Guild we Wars can use 2. that as its own topic. <laughs> Guild Wars 2. Me and Eric Guild bought Wars 2. So good. We bought it on sale. It was on sale last weekend for 10 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> so we bought it. Eric actually didn't yeah. get it on sale, but, you know, it's the thought that counts. I got it cheaper yeah, on G2A. Yeah, you got it cheaper than... Cheaper than 40 bucks. Normally is, yeah. I think it's yeah, 60, cool. dude. Like, the full no, normal is price the, uh, is still... The 60 is the uh, deluxe or whatever. For real, for real. So, yeah. um, that's That game is good. I played on the Silvari. I mean, Silvari. Oh, that's uh, like I love, game. I love that we made, you know, a different, we did, we made characters to play together. And then I was like, oh, of course, I'm probably going to play, when I make my solo character, I think I'm going to do a Silvari. I'm going to do make an Archer. Solo. And then that's exactly what you do. No, hey. Every time, dude. My sister. It's fine. It's just every my time. My sister chose a but dude, that's how it do, do a Silvari freaking archer. It's so good. That's what happens with us in MMOs though, dude. We'll we'll play like somehow we always end up with one of the same freaking characters. Though my archer uses a great sword, so Totally. Yeah. yeah. You know, makes sense. <laughs> yeah. It switches it switches the abilities over so where it works. My my number two does a bear attack or something. Oh, so it's still awesome. themed archer. Yeah, the the game is really good. The combat's really unique. The public event system is awesome. Um, mm -hmm. And the quests are cool, too. They're not just like, go yeah. here, take all these quests, go here. It's like, there's a quest here, this person needs help, that person needs help, do these things to complete it. Yeah, it's very, it's very, it's kind of similar to Elder Scrolls Online, whereas you yeah. kind of just like complete the area type of thing. That's what you want to do, and I like that a lot. That's one of the biggest things yeah. that I like about Elder Scrolls. And the, one of the biggest things that I like about Elder Scrolls Online is that it feels like a big version of Infamous. You're like, all right, mm -hmm. I whited out this this icon over here. Got to keep whitening whitening all the item icons. Right. It's great. Speaking of, Elder Scrolls Online is available for pre-order. I said that last week, on but PS4. I'm saying it again. Yeah, on PS4. I'm sure it's on mm -hmm. Xbox One, too, if I were to guess. I don't yeah. know, but... If I were to guess, I would say it is. Um, I'm Next getting that. Net current yeah. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna deposit exactly that amount of money into my uh, credit account, credit or checking account next week when I get paid. Or yeah, two days actually on Tuesday when I get paid, and then I'm gonna save the rest for going down and uh, seeing Andrew and Ryan and going to see the Avengers. So that's gonna be awesome. Anyways, yeah. Guild Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Guild Wars, and then I haven't played Destiny. You haven't played? We well, did. technically, you have played it in the past week. Well, yeah, Tuesday. Was, yeah, Tuesday. I'm sure you did the weeklies. Um, yeah. Did you do anything else? No. Not nothing on no. Wednesday. Nothing on. Oh, well, that's nope, sad. No that's sad, because I'm actually getting more I, into I Destiny to. because I know that House of Wolves is approaching, and I'm like, oh, man, I thought I would have more time. I got to upgrade all these stuff. Right. So I'm like, I need to get my I'm Thunderlord upgraded. <laughs> yeah. I'm like so. slowing down on my other games and kind of just, at least if today's any indication, I'm kind of probably just going to be focusing on Destiny and League. Like, Destiny during the day, trying to upgrade stuff, doing my bounties on, like, as many characters as I can, and then uh, League at night. I, I maxed out my Saint-14 today. Nice. And it's Finally. already amazing. I maxed it the same weekend it came out. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, dude, it's I didn't... like the Galhorn of Armor. But it's not. It's it not. Really but it's really not. I used it today. I was about to say. I used... times too. Yeah. I know. But again, I did not have any desire to do bounties in Destiny. Like, yeah. It's just how it is. You, but if you gotta go. No, yeah. I don't know. That's understandable. Every Destiny player understands that. But <laughs> that I used it a little bit today, and it's I, it's super fun and super strong. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's not. I wouldn't call it the Galhorn. I would. It's. Armor. Yeah, I would. I, I don't know if I would call the it the best. That. One of the best of armor. It's one of the best, without a doubt. The, Besides, but yeah, I was in mind. I was running the the awakening or whatever the awakening on mm -hmm. the moon for one of the bounties, and I I went into the you know I ran past everything else, and then you get to the ogre, 
and you can't run past him, and then you get into the actual room. Yeah. So I got to the ogre, and I just sprinted straight towards him and dropped a bubble in front of him. And all the thrall mm-hmm. were following me, so they all ran in, and I just backed up, and I'm like, they're all just moving around. <laughs> they don't even know where I am. I just blasted him with rockets and then know. killed all the uh, thrall. It was great. And then I, I think I did this. Yeah, I did the same later when I was, you know, when you start shooting the soul of Crota, like the shard. Yeah. It, and more things start coming out, and it actually starts getting pretty intense. Cool. So you, what I'd normally do is run around in a circle and shoot it, but I ran, and I, like, I got into that cave, and then I dropped the bubble, and then, like, things started coming in. They were just blinded, and I kept oh shooting. It was great. It was great. It's, it's fun. Uh, yeah. Other than Destiny, League, and Guild Wars, anything that you can think of on that RuneScape, mm-hmm. maybe? A little bit? Yeah. Little yeah, I've been... Bit. Just doing uh, the achievement diaries for uh, the armor pieces for the around the world of RuneScape. It yeah. allows you to get different teleports and stuff. And oh, okay. Pretty... I was about it's to. Like, you it's caught it's me. Kind of like trophies. Yeah. On um, your PlayStation. Yeah. Every MMO has achievements, so I know what they are. But these achievements like actually give you rewards that you can That's use. Cool. For... That's cool. That's pretty. Pretty dang like awesome. These, these legs I can get, they uh, teleport me to like a really good money making area. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. So that's what you're going for. Yeah. Want to make all the monies. Yep. All of the monies. All the monies. All the monies. So, uh, nothing else? That's, that sounds about right. If I remember. Oh, well, Adventure Capitalist. Adventure Capitalist. <laughs> Cookie Clicker 2.0. Him, Jared, and Gabby. And Nate have all Nate. been playing a game called Adventure Capitalist yep. on Steam, right which is free and super, and he's playing it right now. And <laughs> it's basically like Cookie Clicker, where you just inanely earn money and upgrades. So yep. That's time waster. Don't know if that's even a game. <laughs> you just click buttons. Mm-hmm. So game yep. of the year 2015, basically. Yeah. All right. Anyway, um. I have been playing Borderlands 2, I'm sure, earlier this week. Still playing through that. One day I'll finish it. Persona, as always. Yeah. Like every you almost over that. One? Well, about where I was before. I haven't, like, sat... I haven't sat down and gone ham with it. Yeah. But when I sit down and go ham with it, I get a lot of progress. But, like, when I just play it every now and then for How many hours are you in, like, 65? I think... <laughs> 68. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 68. So. You get there. Yeah, I mean, we we'll get there. I got two more dungeons. I'm doing the optional boss in the third to last dungeon. So. Oh. I don't I don't need to, but, you know, why not? Right. I've I characters. always yeah, I always get the optional one. Just to just to be sure, just to be ready, you know. Speaking mm. of, dude, I, I, I seriously, every time I think of this, I can't contain myself. Persona 5 for the billionth time. I don't yeah. even care. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to die, it's gonna dude. Off. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Like, dude, my, just, just my think PS, about it. My beat is cooked in dust. That's sad. You'd be playing that Killzone Mercenary, playing that Persona 4 Golden, mate. I don't think I even have space for Killzone. That's probably true. You, you, I'm gonna. I don't know when I'm gonna do this. I was thinking about maybe with my tax return, but I'm gonna invest in a 64 gigabyte memory card. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, sometime soon, hopefully. I'm. Yeah, just as waiting to download. GG. <laughs> GG. But you should you should be back on that Persona, dude. You should be uh, playing that every now and then. Just every yeah. now and then. When Usually, like... what I've been doing is like, I have like these large breaks between classes at yeah. school. So I just sit there for 50 minutes and play Persona. Nice, dude. Yeah, yeah. definitely do that. You'll uh, well, you... it usually consists of oh. grinding and get, not getting very far. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand. Like, what's crazy is that like the daytime cycles are really short. As in, like you could blow through a bunch of days in like two, three hours. You can blow through like a month, a month and a half in two or three hours if you're just doing those. But if you're doing dungeons, yeah, two, three hours is like half of the time you're going to spend in that dungeon it's which true. is fine it's just like you i don't Crazy. know you just sort of like you kind of got to expect it 
You know, you, yeah. you realize that after playing it for a bit. It's fine. It's just you got to remember it. Uh, so, yeah, Borderlands 2 earlier in the week, I'm sure. Persona 4 on and off. I have not been playing a venture capitalist. I have not succumbed to that yet. Um, <laughs> Destiny, definitely. I'm definitely getting into... I. The thing is, I have so many videos and podcasts and whatnot in my watch later and streams that I like to watch. And, and since I'm also getting back into watching LCS, that's a good thing to watch. I have so many things that I could just watch while I play Destiny, watch or listen to while I play Destiny. Yeah. So like I'm I'm perfectly okay with doing a bunch of bounties. I I've kind of, Today was a lot of fun surprisingly doing bounties. I was yeah. watching I was watching LCS, I was doing bounties and I was like this is this is pretty nice because I I got I felt like I got a lot done. I was watching something I enjoyed. It was cool. Mm-hmm. So I, I I'm going to start doing that more in the upcoming week hopefully. Uh was there anything else League of Legends? Gosh dang it. Um, oh, yeah. I guess that's it. I can't yeah, think of it. anything else. So um oh oh yeah uncharted 3 my platinum is broken (laughs) you know i don't know if the viewers know but i've been working towards that platinum like slowly like trying to beat that game on crushing for like a couple of years now and my crushing trophy is broken so i mean i could get it if i started fresh and went through the whole thing on crushing again so I don't think I'm going to do that anytime soon. I think I'm just going to wait for the HD remaster because uh, I'm not. I'm, I'm No. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm not doing it again. I mean, I didn't mind. I liked it. I still would do it again, like, in a month or two if I just gave myself a break. But, like, that HD remaster is inevitable. It's going to come out sometime. Right. So I might as well just wait. If it comes out this fall, oh, my gosh. I hope it will. I hope it does. I really hope so, dude. That would be awesome. I'd love that a lot. Um, so yeah, that's it for all the games we've been playing. Now, on to the news. Oh, yeah. Did you actually, like, introduce us? Oh, no. Yeah. I'm CPC, I mean, you can call me Teddy. This is Eric. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. known as uh, Legend PVM. So, yeah. yeah. It happens. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> you should know by now. <laughs> yeah. So, what do we... The problem is, is that this show is only an hour long, and there's actually probably more to talk about now than we've ever had to talk about. I don't know. In a long time. We can get we could, through some of these we things. We could talk about Destiny for an hour alone, with all the new info they released, and the trailer, and the release Maybe we date, can... and all that. So, like, I don't know. Yeah. Let's... I mean, the tra- we can go through, we can do it. Yeah, we can do it. I'm just saying it would be... It's it's uh it's crazy how much there is to talk about. Normally we have yeah. to elongate our sections, but this week we kind of have to hurry through everything because there is a lot. So yeah. let's knock out some of the quick stuff, like the fact that Bloodborne has now sold a million copies. Yeah, which is awesome. On a awesome. it's a um, exclusive title. Yeah, exclusive new IP. Impressive. It's quite. It's impressive. sold. It like compared to Hardline. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hardline beat it out for like best selling game in the month of March just by a little, which is crazy because yeah. Hardline's which on like all, four all, platforms. Besides, last it's, gen. it's not on last gen. Okay, well then no. it's on two, but still three or three. Yeah, PC. Yeah. It's true. So so yeah, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, it's super impressive. A lot of people man. buy bought. Uh, PS4s for Bloodborne 2. Yeah. A lot of people are buying and playing Bloodborne, which is honestly well deserved. Eric loves that game. I, if yeah, not, it's, to speak it's for great. Him. Yeah, and I, I need really two like more it. trophies to platinum it. Yeah, he's trying to it's, platinum it. I haven't it, so. played it in like two weeks. So. But when you did play it, you played it for like 40 hours straight. So That's true. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, have like, I have like 80 hours in it, in it already. Oh my gosh. I Dang, that's awesome. But that's awesome. I, I like that a lot. I i don't know. I, I'll get back into it eventually. I just, other things came up. It's sad. I barely ever... I feel like I barely ever finish RPGs because other things come up a lot. But, you know. Yeah. I will finish Persona 4 if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Which it might, might well be. 
Oh, my platinum. No, no that didn't happen. <laughs> but that's a platinum that you just. Man, that it's would take so, so, such a big so like. That would take so long, dude. People do it, but just way through. I would have to like dedicate my life to it, and I, I ain't down for that. <laughs> so, Phil Spencer tweeted at uh at Sony and from software and said, "I know some will question me." But wanted to say it's cool to see Bloodborne sell 1 million plus. New IP is hard. Congrats at PlayStation Net from software. So Phil Spencer being a being a very classy cool. guy as usual. I've seen that a lot from him. He uh, He's tweeted at Sony a decent amount of times. and uh, He's the head of Xbox, by the way, for people. Yeah, CEO. So, still want that Xbox One. Still want to be playing that Halo. Yeah. I will, maybe, one day, hopefully. <laughs> lots of... Lots of words. I, I I want it too. So yeah. Are you still yeah. looking for a job, by the way? Are you still yes. like uh, I don't know, yeah. applying places and whatnot? This is this. Yes. You need you need a Zaxby's, mate. That's what you need. <laughs> There's no Zaxby's for. <laughs> That's to like problem. Santa Claus, Indiana. <laughs> Santa Claus. Yeah. Is that a is that a place? Yes, it is. Oh my gosh! I thought you were totally making that up. Santa Claus, Indiana. Like, like it's unbelievable. Yeah, like it it's exist. Santa Claus, yeah, yeah. Indiana. It's Santa oh, Claus. Spoilers. Oh, spoilers, children. There's no Santa Claus. <gasps> you take that back. <laughs> you take that back. Advertisement, <laughs> shut up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so, um, Mortal Kombat X came out last week, as we mentioned yeah. on the drope. Tuesday. Yeah, they, um... Something interesting about Mortal Kombat is there are microtransactions in the game that yeah. gives you easy fatalities. So, like, you press two buttons and it's the fatality, as in, like, you know, going and doing the combo, which is mm -hmm. such a weird microtransaction. Yeah, like, I, I just... I, I don't understand who's buying that, right? right. Like... Who who is too lazy to just open the combo men menu and try it a couple of times? <laughs> I I've heard the game is awesome though. Yeah, a lot of people are enjoying it. I I haven't heard anything negative about it. Like it's getting a lot of good reviews. So I don't know. Yeah. Good good for all you fighting game fans, because because I'm sure people who really like fighting games are eating that up right now. Like it's the yeah. I don't know. It's the newest like big fighting game. So that's right. awesome. That would be like if I only played JRPGs and then Persona 5 came out. You know, I'd be all over that if I only played right. JRPGs, yeah. So, um, yeah, we're we're blowing through this. We'll leave the Destiny stuff for last so that we can talk about it. We'll leave the the Destiny stuff for last and then the um, Star Wars stuff for second to last so that we can talk about that for a decent yeah. amount of time, too, because that trailer is freaking awesome. All right. <laughs> Dude, that trailer yeah. is seriously good. You gotta admit, the Star yeah. Wars one is awesome. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Um. So, Guitar Hero Live is a thing. Interesting. It's it's interesting. By it's... the way, this is my complete ignorance. Did you know that Rock Band and Guitar Hero were owned by two different companies? Cause I didn't. Yeah. I completely they're, just they're... thought. <laughs> They're the same There's, thing, just like... exactly. But that's the thing. They were like Rock Band and Guitar Hero. Like they're you know the musical chart and whatnot, right. and the it's visuals. Like Call of Duty, Halo. Yeah, it's a rivalry. But like, like I'm saying, the the chart and whatnot, and the visuals mm -hmm. when you're actually playing, are like the exact yeah. same thing. They're like the exact yeah. same thing in both games. Like the same colors, the same style. I'm like, how is this not by the same company I mean... that's just spinning off two brands? But it's not, right. so. Yeah. Excuse my ignorance, but yeah, uh, you know, <laughs> since Rock Band is coming back, Guitar Hero is also coming back. But you know, Rock Band's coming back as like a revival of the old thing. So Rock Band, they want to make it so that you can use your old instruments. You can't, as of now, right. but they want that to be a thing. And they also want to, and they're also bringing back all the songs that you owned on DLC and whatnot. So like Dang. two thousand plus songs. So they're basically just like reviving that, but yeah, Guitar they, Hero. They want to try something new. Yeah, rock. Since Rock Band's doing that, Guitar Hero has to try something new. Like they can't just do the same thing again. So they're doing Guitar <laughs> Hero Live, which a lot of people hate this concept. I feel like I'm in the minority. Doesn't it look kind of cool? 
like, I like the idea because they changed like the guitar too. Yeah, they changed um, the guitar, which is cool. To where it has it's up and down instead of yeah. this way. There's only three of them, and there's three on the yeah. bottom. Well, there's six, but there's three on the bottom and then three on the top, like just right here. Three, yeah. three. So you can just like as you're playing, you like move up and back down. So. So because people, a lot of people had trouble with their pinky. Yeah, I know. thought that was kind of dumb to be totally honest. The five, like. Originally, you have to hit the fourth one with your pinky, and then you have to slide with the pinky to hit the fifth one. It was like, okay, but yeah. So I like that. I I like that change to guitar to the guitar. You're gonna have to learn something new, which is cool. Um, here I'll have a video playing while we talk about this of the kind of funny games, guys. <clears throat> Tim and Nick. Yeah, I watched the video. So, not Tim and Nick. Tim and Alfredo. Um playing through some of the levels and they show what it looks like and whatnot so basically it's all first person it's all real footage that is first taken person. yeah <laughs> first, first person, person guitar. guitar dude first person <laughs> guitar simulator yep that's what this is first person guitar players uh, live simulator action. live action because like like this video is showing you start backstage you're like messing with your pick and then they're like come on dude you gotta go and they all go out on the front stage they open the doors and like there's just this giant crowd and this is all like real life footage so yeah. i think this is kind of cool to be honest How i don't they even like bad about this footage though it's i don't kinda... know they apparently actually did like they had something in the uk where they just recorded people in the Have crowd people like Boo. <laughs> yeah because like when you're doing really good the crowd's like cheering and whatnot but when you're doing really bad they they you can look into the crowd and see real people just start to be like <laughs> or like Boo. Yeah. like when you do really bad and you're like looking over your bandmates like the drummer's like Come on. Doing? <laughs> so. Yeah, the, the, the guitar or the lead vocalist is all like, come on, dude, you could do this. <laughs> yeah, on. yeah. So I think this is really cool. I'm probably not okay? going to buy it because Rock Band, if Rock Band is the same as before, I'm probably just more interested in Rock Band because it's kind of like, I don't know. It's the same thing, but like this experience yeah, is cool. Was, yeah. Uh, Guitar Hero World Tour. Yeah, my dude, my first game that I, my first console game that I owned was Guitar Hero 2. Because somebody <laughs> gave me their PS2 with a Guitar Hero 2 and the guitar and the controllers. Dang. So, um, but yeah, like, this concept of this live thing is cool, cool. to me, but it's not Love cool. Disappointed yeah. With not being able to use their old. Yeah. Equipment. Well, you know, you have Rock Band for that, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But the problem with this is that, like, it's the concept is cool, but it's not cool enough to make me buy this instead of Rock Band. Right. Like, I'm gonna if I'm gonna buy one of them, which I might not even, it's gonna be Rock Band because it's pretty much the same thing, but without the live action experience. But you still have the guitar, you still have, but yeah. then you also have drums and singing and bunch of different other stuff so so yeah it's a cool idea but i'm not totally this is why i liked world tour because world tour had drums and singing oh nice that nice. it was like the one guitar hero that had was pretty much rock band that's pretty cool so yeah guitar hero live it's it's something it's something and now we are down to trailers and then the destiny stuff so, what trailer do you want to start with? I say... Um, Batman. Batman, really? Oh, man. Yeah. See, I could talk about this forever. All right, here. Let's, uh, let's, let's sync this up and watch it. Okay. And hopefully no uh, copyright stripes from uh, Warner Brothers. Yeah. All right. Crap. That's, that's, that's not what I meant to do. Well, I'm sorry. All right. We do. <laughs> nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. All right. Mine is... I'm turning off the annotations, getting it to 1080p. All right. Um. Okay. Three, two, one, play. WB. Warner Brothers, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> DC Comics. See, most of this trailer is isn't really surprising. Not awesome. That the most like powerful the man in the world should be a figure of controversy. 
We, as a population on this planet, have been looking for a savior. We're talking about a being Alien. whose very existence they are not telling us the truth. challenges our own sense of priority in the universe. Human beings have a horrible track record of Tragedy. following people of great power. Power corrupts, and absolute power, power corrupts absolutely. Chaos. Maybe he's just a guy trying to do the right no, thing. We know better now, don't we? Devils don't come from hell beneath they us. They brought their war here. No, they come from the sky. The world has been so caught up with what he can do that no one has asked what he should do. Go home, go home, go home, go home. That's how it starts. The fever, the rage, the feeling of powerlessness that turns good men cruel. Here we go. This is when the cool stuff starts coming in. Like that. And Batwing, Batmobile. That. And that. And that. Tell me, do you bleed? You will. Ugh. Eric's not very excited, but holy crap! A, as you can see, ugh, DC Comics fan. Yeah. Oh my gosh, holy crap. Does that look awesome? First of all, Ben Affleck in his Batman suit? <clears throat> come on, son. Just come on, son. That looks, yeah, that is legit. the best live action Batman suit without a doubt. Like, it, it looks like Batman from the comics. It looks like a Jim Lee drawn Batman come to life. Like, in a live action thing with a high budget. Also, with Superman in the same movie, interacting, like, that alone? Yeah. It's pretty legit. GG. I'm sold, and I will be there, like, <laughs> midnight. Which is weird. Did you know midnight showings are not really midnight showings anymore? Why is that? Midnight showings show at, like, 8 o'clock sometimes. <laughs> it doesn't make That's... any sense. We went to the yeah, midnight okay. showing for, like, um... Uh, what was it? I think it was Captain America 2. Yeah, er, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cap yeah, yeah, Winter Soldier. We went to the midnight of that, and it was like 8 o'clock at night. So, don't know what's going on there. But what's weird is that they have different listings for, like, you can go to the one at 8, you can go to the one at 10, you can also go to the one at, like, it's 12 midnight. at midnight. Really? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense, because, like, the movie <laughs> technically comes out on, like, the next day which would be the midnight right. but so i'm always like i see the movie i saw the movie before it actually came out <laughs> wow yeah. But yeah um so, yeah, so that, he, I, your thoughts i'm excited to watch it yeah um because i like batman i don't know about i'm see, not sure how i feel about superman see everyone likes batman that's that's what that's what i would think that's why I was so confused. Last night, me and Eric and Jared and Gabby were talking about DC stuff. Yeah, and like Gabby was literally just saying that she didn't care for no reason. And, yeah. I, and I was, yeah. like, very upset. But, like, before that, like, <laughs> everyone likes Batman, right? Like, other than Gabby, I can't think of anyone who doesn't just, yeah, I like Batman. Or, yeah, I like Superman. So this movie, or, yeah, like Aquaman, or Wonder Woman, or whoever freaking else is going to be in this movie, because right. it's everybody, apparently. So, <laughs> like, this movie is going to have, like, one superhero that somebody likes in this movie. And if it's done well, it will expose to them that these other superheroes are also awesome. Mm -hmm. So, I'm super excited. Be true. The only yeah. problem is that it's a freaking year away. <laughs> 2016. Yeah, I, I hate seeing crap when it's like... Like, I, I don't like that they announced this so far ago. Like, they, if they announced this now would be the perfect timing. They announce this now, the trailer comes out in like a month or two, and then we're all hyped for when it actually comes out in a year. Right. But no, they did it like a year and a half ago or something, and then just nothing until this trailer, and then... Yeah. I don't like Leaked things when they announce them early. 
Yeah, it was originally leaked, and then they just released the HD one anyways. Yeah. Which is... I'm thankful for that. So, <laughs> so yeah. Gives you time to see Man of Steel, because you haven't freaking seen Man of Steel. <laughs> Man of Steel was a... Man of Steel was a good movie. Man of Steel was a good movie. It was it was alright. It was alright. It wasn't like Marvel level. It was probably right. yeah. It was like slightly below because like I don't know. It was a very unique Superman film. Like it was not what I would have thought from a Superman movie. It was it was a very sci-fi Superman movie, which is right. what Superman is. But at yeah. the same time, a lot of most of the comics try and focus on Superman being like having all these powers and whatnot. But he's from Earth. Like, he grew up here from, like, a year old to where he is now. Like, he d- right. like he was a baby, you know? He's he's from I Earth. Like, it's his planet. Even though he, like, was born on a different planet and is a different species, right. this is his planet just as much as anyone else's. That's the angle that I like on Superman a lot of the time. But, like, the, the sci-fi thing was just, like, kind of unexpected. Huh. It was still good though. It's still a good movie. I like it a lot. You should definitely see yeah. it. Um, yeah, it's good. So, see Man of Steel, and then we should you should uh, fly down to Montgomery, <laughs> and we'll all see uh, Batman vs Superman in Montgomery yeah. with uh, Andrew. So we'll and... have like one more plane right. ticket. You, I think to be honest, to be totally honest, I think you should use that for Star Wars because I'm gonna go down and see Star Wars with them without. Okay. Be- yeah, because you might be on your Christmas break. Because True. it's it's coming during Christmas time, so totally coming on Christmas actually. It said I it said this Christmas. I don't think it actually means like on Christmas, you know. Like a lot uh, of a lot of movie trailers say like coming, this Christmas, yeah, this Christmas or this holiday season or whatnot. Prepare. I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't <laughs> go bum. down. Prepare your bum for this Christmas. So Santa Claus, he's coming down that chimney with Speaking. an agenda. Star Wars. <laughs> Speaking of Star Wars, like hey, hey, um, Star Wars Battlefront. Let's go there instead of the actual okay. uh, movie. Um, right. Star Wars Battlefront. It's freaking thing, by the way. Amazing. Star Wars Battlefront. We have known that it is that it's a thing since last E3, but literally last E3, all we mm. saw about it was them go, was, "We're was working true. on the game." We're yeah. working on the game. That's all they really had to We're do, though. We're working on the game. It, it very much rem- reminded me of... Have you seen the clips from South Park of the BP guy? Like, BP when the oil spilled? Mm-hmm. They they made, they made basically mocked that and had him going, We're sorry. We're sorry. <laughs> We're sorry. And then he's, like, petting a puppy. We're sorry, and then that, and it, and it got like even more and more extreme and weird, and it wow. ended with like him on We're the so floor. Good. No, <laughs> not like that. But it ended like the last one. It was like a forty-second like commercial in South Park, and like it ended with him on the floor naked and like laying on his stomach with his feet up and a rose in between his feet, going, <laughs> "We're sorry," with like a fire in the background. It was great. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought of when they were like, we're making the game. We're, we really are. We love Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. So, but they they released a trailer with in-engine footage. So. Wait, wait. When we had this little like discussion here about this. I I here here it is. I I've saw like con- con- confirmation on this. That is using the stuff we saw. That is in assets game ready. It's not yeah. CGI. It's no, it's not ass- CGI. It's not going to look exactly it's, like it. Yeah, but this is what I said. Yeah, this according is, to totally point with what I said. Um, according to a bunch of the guys who saw the game gameplay, it is pretty dang close. Yeah. To what we saw. Yeah. Which is impressive. Yeah, that's what that's that's what I was getting at when I, when we were talking about it before. So, that it that it's not going to look exactly like that. Like they're making a video so they can do a, a decent amount of a little boss. bit more. You know? um detailed than they could in the game where you have to actually right. affect things but but it'll look definitely similar so right so uh do you want to watch this mate uh yeah because i i this trailer is a good trailer like it's mostly it's just trailer. like fighting but it it so captures the feel of battlefront like perfectly yeah. 
Uh, all right. Let me know when you're ready, and we'll watch it. I'm ready. Let's, Sorry let's to this. audio listeners, but you can hear. And we uh, we can describe what's going yeah. on afterwards. Explosions. This thing ever explosions. Signs Close first your eyes. Well, by the way. <laughs> this looks so ridiculous, though. <laughs> Come on, push what? Up. Are you watching it? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm at uh like 25 seconds. Okay. That's good. <laughs> this is so good. Like how they're saying like they're cheering. Like, Whoa, yeah. Yeah. And then the ATS sequence. Yeah. Double shoot. Jetpack to the And then it's. AT AT. Yeah. The music is so awesome. Yeah. I love Star Wars. I really do. Yeah. I wish I still had that notebook. Oh yeah, and this. Freaking Darth Vader. See right there? Um, the Millennium Falcon is actually gonna be playable. Yeah. Dude. This looks so good. This looks... Oh, you see that? So good. It, it does look amazing. I'm so excited for it. Yeah. But, um, it's... have you heard of some stuff about yeah, it? Yeah, I've heard stuff. So, there's no campaign. No campaign. No, no, no campaign. No space battles. Uh, no instant action, apparently. No Galactic that... Conquest. Wait, for real? I didn't hear that. Wait. Yeah, no, no Galactic Conquest, apparently. Where do so, you hear that? That's so sad. I've heard, I've been hearing a lot of things, so. Gosh dang it. That's my favorite part of Battlefront 2. <sighs> That's really disappointing. Alright, um, so, what was I going to say? I was going to say, the, um, oh man, I actually had a train of thought. That's gone now. It, it yeah. choo-chooed away. Because it's a train of thought. Because you heard no classic. <laughs> yeah, it just like <laughs> that, like killed me, on the inside. Uh, uh, all right. Well, okay then. Um, yeah. That's all right. That's that just fun. so upsetting. But oh yeah, I was gonna say, there's no space combat. Yeah, no space combat. Not yet, at least. You'll see, of course. Possibility. But, like. They showed multiple shots in that trailer. There was a shot in that trailer of somebody piling it in first person. Man, like, that's not in space. No, it was. Oh, it was you mean like week. you mean like uh, there's still gonna be like in air battles. In air, yeah, in air. Just battles. not in space. Okay. All right, that makes sense. Yeah. That that's all right. That's all right because to be See, honest, the I space... like space battles, but they just weren't. They were too. It was really weird. They were weird because you had to fly into the little thing, mm -hmm. right? You remember weird. this? It was in space. There was only one entrance to the enemy base, and you had to freaking like. Sometimes you were just like needle. stuck there and you couldn't do anything. And yeah, it was kind of annoying. Sometimes. You had to like thread the needle into cool, their base. Though then get out, then kill all of their dudes that are respawning and getting in their ships and going, and then they're like, oh, there's somebody in here. Kill them. So yeah. <laughs> you had to, like, so... basically get in their base and then, like, go do objectives in their own base, which was kind of cool, but at the same time, really weird that you had to, like, get in the little portal, and mm -hmm. it was kind of odd. So yeah, in I space like battle sounds awesome. Age, though, if, if they did that, if there was space battles like that, it would be very... Uh, not that great because people just camp. Yeah. The... 
Yeah, and, and wait for people to come in and blow put yeah. C four on the freaking. It's true. It's true. And just yeah. as a game mode, I don't think that would be acceptable. You know, in like common multiplayer like culture, in games, I don't think I don't think the community would be like this is okay. I think they'd be like no, this is bad, and they wouldn't play it. But uh, a lot of people expected space fours. Uh, yeah, that's true. Space yeah. battles. I mean, I would have liked space battles if they did it somehow a little bit differently. But the. Yeah. The air combat, as long as there's air combat, that's cool. You know, oh yeah, it's, it's very similar. It's gonna be battle battlefields air combat is like so refined, and if they like translate that into some Star Wars stuff, it'll be good. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but the I mean, um, of course, it'd be better because yeah, the I dogs feel more. Um, yeah. I hope they don't take a. L they can take some of the battlefield mechanics, but I really don't hope they did. I hope they don't take yeah. all of them. Like what I really the, want from Battlefield is the squad system. Well, <laughs> yeah, one thing. there there better be a freaking party system in Battlefront. From the people who actually seen the game, they didn't see any indication of one oh so gosh. far. Gosh, what's so hard about it? I don't they, understand. I don't know, but like, they said about being able to join a fr a friend, singular ah, friend. Wah, ah, <laughs> no galactic <laughs> conquest, and then you hit me with this. Oh man, you're just stabbing daggers into the back all day. <laughs> oh right. my gosh, that's sad. Um, all right, well we'll move on from that because we're running out of time. But Battlefront, that trailer. The best thing about that, that captured the feel of Battlefront perfectly. Like, that's what I, as a Battlefront cinematic, I guess you can say, trailer, that's what I would have wanted. So if the gameplay <clears throat> is anything similar to what I would have wanted, which is kind of similar oh. to that, I'll be all right. Let me, let me go over some of the cons uh, that I've seen here. Um, We've no already campaign. seen all the cons. <laughs> but and there's more that I didn't list. Great. No camp. That's great. Go off missions. For one missions, to two players, um, multiplayer. So only no, so no instant action. No uh, DLC with with weak early access opportunity. A mobile deployable ray shield, which leads me to believe there will be other equipment or classes. I mean, this isn't really cons. This is this guy's cons. Yeah, you're just giving AT -AT me is on rails. Uh, oh, as in like you can't. You can control it and shoot it, but you can't move it. That's from a, weird. Uh, AI is controlling it, I think. It's odd, but kind of cool. So, no Clone Wars, no space battles. But there is I, third person. I like that there's no Clone Wars. That's kind of cool. It's like they're just putting it all in the original trilogy and afterwards, which is awesome. Yeah. I think that's cool. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the prequel time period. Clone Wars is I, right, but I don't know. Not a huge fan. So, Battlefront, it's a thing. Look forward to it. Uh, hopefully, it'll freaking have a party system. And very upsetting about no galactic conquest, but I will live, I guess. Um, oh, leaves us to the Star Wars actual trailer for Episode yep. Seven. Uh, let's watch this and then talk about right. uh, lots of Destiny stuff, and then quickly it. go right. over our shows, and then the drop, and then get out of here. We're already like fifty minutes in. <laughs> we'll All just right. have to go uh, extra long. We can go an hour and thirty minutes. Can you play it? Um, I'm on zero with oh. Yep, yeah, we do. I'm on zero with 1080p annotations off. All right, three, two, one, play. So this is a trailer for episode seven, which they're not even calling episode seven anymore. They're calling yeah, it. Yeah, this is the Force Awakens. Just the Force Awakens, yeah. Already the music. Oh, the music. This says music 37. placement is perfect. Yeah. It says 37 million views already. Almost 38. Of course. <laughs> Which is awesome. Force is strong in my family. My father has it. I have it. My sister has it. Mark Hamill, the one and only, narrating. 
You have that power too. The new stormtroopers look awesome. They look dope. We can go over some of this stuff super quickly. We're all freaking here. And then that. It's like, that's like the part that everyone's freaking out over. The money shot, some call it. <laughs> yep. Oh my gosh, that's a good trailer. That's so good. The music's perfect. Like I, there's a lot of new like. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff to talk about in that. Like the freaking the stormtroopers have a new outfit, which is awesome. The stormtroopers look really good. Like it's just yeah. it's very similar to the old stuff, but just cleaner and nicer looking. the The cockpit of the X wings look awesome. The freaking the new BB-8 droid, <laughs> which is very yeah. interesting. Harrison Ford looking old. Chewbacca doesn't look like he's aged one bit, by the way. Just tossing that out there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this year. Let's see. Um, anything else? Oh, there's this this one shot. Let me find it. The one shot, like, in the hangar. Yeah, right here. Um, those, what people are talking about is how, like, that's not CGI. Those look like practical effects. Right, yeah, they're trying to awesome I'm trying to use as much practical as possible yeah dude it's so good i'm i'm super excited for this i'm probably gonna see if i can go down to montgomery for that with no i'm definitely going to i can i can fly <laughs> you can fly here and then we can both drive down or you know drive yeah. down together don't use both gas <laughs> two cars mm -hmm. of gas for for nothing all right well mm -hmm. star wars freaking this christmas that's really soon when you think about it like yeah it's awesome i'm super excited for that destiny <laughs> <laughs> okay destiny <laughs> so we should stick with trailers i'm guessing so all right continue with this trailer all, right. all right let's keep going sorry um, you uh audio listeners still yeah. the uh, the, uh trailers. i'm sure they're getting the uh of it the yeah the house of wolves this happened on monday they released a trailer for the house of wolves yeah and a release date but we'll go over that in a minute so uh are you ready yeah y'all ready for this okay three two one play <clears throat> t animated blood and violence, yeah. snow snow lots of snow some fur like substance. A flag. A flag. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Fallen captain looking when the awesome. the fallen sought to destroy us. I protected the reef. In the end, they all bowed before me. Pretty sure that banner was one of the houses of the fallen. I'm not sure which yeah. one. We showed them mercy. I love Destiny. And offered them a home the universe amongst has so the awoken. Yeah. Dead Queen Garden. Yeah. Totally. They met that mercy. With betrayal. Now, they will feel my wrath. Open the reef to the Guardians. Offer the riches of our realm as bounty for these traitors. Dude. Let the hunt begin. Yes, the House of Wolves. That's what, that's the house. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, of that's funny so Duh. i haven't watched that since last monday like that was my first time since last monday that's a pretty dang good trailer as yeah. in like that captain mm. looks awesome 
Like, the character yeah. model for him in the Prison of Elders or whatever looks anywhere similar. GG, dude. GG. That's awesome. That's really, really cool. So, yeah. trailer uh, coming May 19th. Very soon. It's on its way. Get ready. I'm getting ready, as you heard at the beginning of the show. So, let's go to Bungie's news section and talk about, first of all, the update that came out in the last week, and then all the House of Wolves e info that we know about. So, here. <clears throat> I gotta... I'll pull up the uh, patch notes Speaking for of, 1.1.2. Uh, what, uh, House of Wolves stuff? Yeah. Um, they're going to showcase a bunch of the... Stuff like Prison of Elders and the social spaces on Twitch. Yeah, yeah, they they have those dates. When we get to uh, House of Wolves info after the after we talk about the update, we can highlight yeah. all the dates and when they're talking about what. So one point one point two dropped last Tuesday, which includes new vault new vault space, twenty four armor slots, thirty six weapon slots, and twenty four general slots, which is pretty awesome. Colorblind yeah. support, audio controls as in volume, as in uh, fire team chat volume, and music toggling. Still doesn't make any sense as to why it wasn't music volume, but you know, sure. Um, yeah. Item lock, you can now lock items, so you cannot dismantle them unless you unlock them. The purple ball has been reborn in the tower. This is the most important yeah. thing. As an interactive spear, th uh, sphere with a parallax energy core that grows with object velocity and tints based off of time of day. It's pretty complex. Awesome. So, yeah, the purple ball has been reborn into its new, new glory state of mind. It's yeah. really cool, basically. <laughs> it glows when you kick it. Yeah, it glows when you kick it. Um, they also, before we uh, continue with what's on this, they also added a jukebox in mm. the hangar. It's like in the little too. bar down in the hangar and yeah it's so cool it actually plays music like you press it and it plays this little like music sample for like 10 15 seconds and you dance oh it's great it's a great time that's yeah. probably my favorite thing of the update <laughs> um a bunch of bug fixes fourth horseman got Is... an unexpected buff <laughs> so it's Amazing. super strong yeah it's no. really good uh Players can now choose to wear their helmets in social spaces, as in the tower and aka eventually the reef. And it, by eventually, I mean, ex whoa, exactly a month from the day we're recording this. It is the yep. 19th of April. We got to get on that Destiny grind, dude. I don't, yeah. think, I don't know if you realize, it is a month from the expansion. We got to be ready. We got to be ready, dude. Um, let's see, what else? The Valis Strike. Valus is reduced by 33% health. He is uh, less... The They reduce the number of major combatants in the Valus to Arc fight. Uh, Dust Palace reduced the number of major combatants in the Scion Flare fight and also <clears> lowered <throat> the strength on the Scion Flare shields. Vault of Glass and Crota's End, various bug fixes as in Minotaur shouldn't yeah. regen health. Crota shouldn't slam the sword down as soon as he, <laughs> as soon as he gets up. Or before he even gets up. Yeah. And your sword should not disappear and it should last a full 30 seconds. So stuff like that. PvP was altered greatly as in like the the freaking special ammo was changed. Special like ammo. lots of stuff. Special ammo was changed. I That's... heard the, I heard PvP is a lot better now. Yeah, so okay, I don't know. So... We might want to try that out sometime. Uh, it shows like times. Like, yeah. You can see when the you can see like five minutes ahead when the heavy ammo is about to spawn. It's so crazy and so cool. The um, the they reduced the um, special ammo. Yeah, they reduced the special Bomb ammo. Engine. They oh, the man. amount you get. Yeah, the amount you get without a doubt. The um oh, each time a teammate revives you in skirmish and salvage. By the way, this is something they snuck in here in the patch notes. Each time a teammate revives you, it takes longer before you can be revived again. So, like, if, you, if you're if you revived and then you die again, it takes 10 seconds before you can be revived again. And then 15. So, yep. that's going to change how that. that plays, dude. 
That completely changes that. We really do need to try this sometime. Because Charlie oh. Osiris is gonna come out. Yeah, we need to get in. We need to. Yeah, we need to play Destiny. We need to. I told. I sent a message out to our raid group saying I'm totally down to raid Wednesday and Thursday night. Like I have a bunch of time, so maybe they'll be on Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah. Oh, also, when you are close, if you can be a lot closer to special and heavy ammo without it um, disappearing on you. Yeah. So when your teammate picks it up. But it does disappear after death. If it's still on the ground. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's a lot more unforgiving. This is awesome. This is something they stuck in here as well. Titan Ward of Dawn now has audio indicators at low energy, so players can more easily read when it will time out. Yeah. That's really cool. They change a lot of sounds in the game. Players walking into enemy Wards of Dawn can now hear a sound when blindness is implied. Yeah, I've applied, actually so that's cool. really weird. Um... Fixed issue where combined arms... Oh, no, that's just some Grimoire stuff. All right, well, that's mainly it. It's a lots of really cool stuff. Okay, just sound of bounties. Yeah, yeah, they didn't even freaking beep. put that in here. They didn't even put that in the patch note. Yeah, they did. They did? Where is it? It's, it's like a general thing. Oh, I'm not okay. sure. It doesn't say in audio, but... Uh... So, yeah, they... Lots of stuff, dude. I'm really enjoying it. Like, my music's off. I can play whatever music I want. The jukebox is awesome. The the purple ball is awesome. I can't wait <laughs> to try the Valus and Dust Palace strikes. PvP sounds like it's a lot better. Like, I love these updates. Love these updates. Yep. So, let's see. Let's talk about House of Wolves, mate. So, so yeah. The Reef. Um, the Reef is going to have three places to go to. I uh, one... Yeah, uh, one of the places is going to be the Vestian Outpost, which is the social space. And then the other wow. thing is Oh, and then, like, the, the, the actual activities, are they actually in the reef? The, uh, no. Um, oh. I forgot what the other freaking place was called, but that's, it's a three-player social space. But you, I think that's where Osir Osiris, the Charles of Osiris, and the other thing is, See, Prison of Elders. This sounds cool, but in all reality, is this going to work in actuality? As in, like, are we going to want Home. to go to the tower? I meant it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the other place. Interesting. But, like, are we really going to want to, like, go out, wait 30 seconds to load to orbit, wait 40 more seconds to go to the tower, wait 30 seconds mm -hmm. again to go back, wait 40 more seconds yeah. to go to the reef, wait 30 more seconds to go out, go to the other one? Like, uh, it sounds awesome as in having more social spaces. That's really cool. But, like, in actuality with the loading times, I hope I hope something's – I don't know. I hope it's we'll not see. horrible. It shouldn't be horrible. They – they know that we don't like the loading times, so that I'm. I really hope that they didn't just add in more loading times, like unnecessarily. I hope they know something that we don't. You know, I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. Yeah. I, I gotta be sure, because <laughs> otherwise it's not not that cool. My phone just died. All right. <laughs> but the so yeah, let's see. Let's. I'm gonna go to the front There's page. There's the best outpost and the halls of Amentit. Those are the two new social spaces. That is crazy. Where are and you getting this? Uh, more console. Where did he get it? He's been, I think, as the data miners. Hey, well, <clears throat> freaking, gosh dang it. That that has no, nothing to do. Actually, Ugh. I'm I don't, not sure where you're going. Yeah, I, that, none of that no. has been confirmed from Bungie. None of that. Except for that there is a social space in the reef. That's all they've said. Hold the best you not post. They have not said that. They have not said that. They've they've just said there's a social space in the reef. Hard facts though. Hard facts. It's it's from the internet, it's gotta be true. But yeah, they I don't know. I'd like to know more things like that, but they uh they haven't said anything yet. They've just said that there's a there's a social space in the reef. Definitely two social spaces. If you go on your game right now, you can go into the reef. You can open it now and see three different circles. Oh, for real? Okay, yeah. that 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 makes sense. That's definitely still not confirmed, but that's that's uh that's cool. I don't know if I wouldn't say that that is confirmed as social spaces, but that's definitely like places to go. You know, 
in the reef. Yeah. So at least one of those is a social space. That's cool. So the three dates that they have here is uh, on April 22nd, which is uh, Wednesday, I believe. Yeah. They're, they'll be revealing the reef on Twitch, as in the social space. And then April 29th, which is... Oh, man, I'm so excited, dude. I'm genuinely excited to see more info about this. Um, yeah. April 29th, which is next Wednesday, the Wednesday after this upcoming one, is revealing Trials of Osiris. And then May 6th is revealing Prism of Elders. So let me make sure there's no more dates after that. Let me look real quick. Also, okay. All right. Um, two big things. Let's talk about in Destiny, and then we'll quickly talk about our shows and get out of here. Two big things. One, the biggest of all, there's no raid. Yep. There's no raid, which is an interesting choice, to say the least. So they uh they say we don't make this decision lightly we uh we're working on a raid for to be released later this year so that's i don't know man if it wasn't ready it wasn't ready if they planned on it they planned on it you gotta deal with it i guess i just I, the main reason that i was i was really bummed when i heard this well one because raids are without a doubt the best part of destiny so like i and i i shouldn't have expected one because it wasn't confirmed but like I pretty much expected right. there to be a raid, but, like, so... Well, there was I mean, at one point, I think. Yeah, yeah. Raids are but the... They're like, yeah, we're not going to have this, Yeah. like, perfected, so... Hmm, interesting. That's so, what I think. So raids are, like I said, the best part of Destiny. It, it was very... When I look, when I was looking forward to this, I was like, "All right, we got our full raid group together. We've gotten really good together. We have good chemistry." And I'm like, "I'm su- We're all 32. We all have three 32s. We're all really ready for this raid. Let me hear more info about this raid." And then they release the trailer. They release this article, and they're like, "There's no raid." I'm like, "It's kind of what I wanted to know about, and pretty much yeah. it, to be honest." So I. Uh, I mean, it's just the main thing that I was looking forward to, so it's whatever. But um, they, the big thing that they're using to quote unquote replace the raid, I guess you can say, is the Prison of Elders, which is a three player cooperative uh, activity, which we all assume, we have no idea, but we all assume it's a horde mode slash arena type of thing. So that sounds interesting. I really want to know about this Prison of Elders. If they, yeah. like, I feel like if they're not releasing a raid and they're releasing the Prison of Elders and the missions and whatnot, like, Please. they they have a lot of faith in the Prison of Elders, you know? Yeah. Like, they know how much people love raids. If they know how good their like, raids are. If it's firefight from Halo, then yeah. it could be promising. So, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I just really hope Prison of Elders is good. And I believe it will be, because like I said, I mean, they got to have a lot of faith in it. If, if they're, they can, release it. they're probably incorporating the um, upgrading legendaries thing yeah. into that as well. The biggest segue, but <laughs> the biggest um, bummer about the Prison of Elders is that it's three player. So, like, literally nothing in this expansion is six player. Nothing. We will get no six player content. So, it's like, besides, all right. New crystal maps. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, true. So, that's, the, that's just. Without a doubt, that alone, that there's not really any six-player content, is the biggest bummer. Like, me, Eric, and Ryan... Mm. For a game that's supposed to be social, so, social, like... Right. You're only interacting with two other people. And that's it. So, like... Yeah. I don't know. I really like my raid group. I, I like playing with everyone in the raid group. It's a lot of fun, mm. so... That was the biggest bummer. So, um, yeah, legendaries, boom, drag the picture over. <laughs> as soon as I did that, there is a picture right here of the Fatebringer. It says 300, and then it goes to 365. Like, look at this picture. It's beautiful. So they have not confirmed it without a – well, I mean, this pretty much confirms it, but they haven't, like, physically said the words. But this picture right here pretty much says it for him. Says walking April twenty second walking tour of the reef with a live discussion about the upgrade paths for your gear, which this is interesting to me because it says upgrade paths for your gear, not weapons. 
gear. Yeah. So think about that, dude. I don't know. Maybe we'll be able to run level 34 vault of glass armor. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> That'd be crazy. pretty cool. I don't know about armor. I I don't know. I, I wouldn't think it would be it's, armor, but they didn't. They said gear, so it's possible. That's all I'm saying. It's, it's possible. possible. But um, also the – if you thought – I thought about this like a couple of days ago. Where we get our end game new like uh, new level cap gear is in the raid or, for uh, most of the time. That's what I'm saying. Like every – like up until now, it's been in the raid is where we get true. it. So, like, where are we going to get it now, Prison of Elders? Armor because maybe they're, like, trying to be, like, everyone at 32 looks the same, blah, 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 blah. So, hmm, we'll bring up, we'll have the uh, option to bring up old armor. You know? Maybe. I, that's what I'm thinking, because, like, for cool. real, like, every, so Titan far. helmet. Yeah, dude. Like, so far <laughs> so up until. Gosh, yeah, you can, like, switch them out. But, like, so far up until now. The, the 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 end game level cap gear has been from the raid and nowhere else and there's no right. raid so is it from prison of elders is it this new upgrade path we prison. don't know you know because know. there there has been raid armor scene <clears throat> yeah data mining uh, but, um, data mining subject to change is... Yeah, data mining was said there was a raid, so just tossing that out there. No, 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 Never no, no. Never trust. Mega Man knew that knew about it the whole time. No, that's that's not freaking. It's not true. Hold on, let me find this. I'm saying that he knew about there not being a raid. That's why he was like, "You guys, uh, you guys are gonna be surprised." But he didn't spoil it until uh, the update. I don't actually like believe that because the freaking there is a picture that was data mined that says raid there was a picture that was data mined that says a new exclusive raid i can't find the picture it's somewhere on. oh no i know what you're talking about that yeah that was like the beef that's where i, while I was thinking maybe there yeah. was a raid supposed to come out yeah that's what i that's what i'm saying as in like you can't always trust it they lots of stuff is subject to change yeah so I'm really excited about this. I like Destiny a lot, dude. I I don't know. It's it's like a an IP that I jumped on on day one. I really like the world. I don't know. It's a lot of fun. The mechanics yeah. are awesome. I like all the guns. You know how much we both like Destiny, so right. We're, I'm sure both of us are super excited. Mm -hmm. I am at least. Prison of Elders, Trials of Osiris. Like even without a raid, like these new activities are still. I don't know. Maybe this for Trials of Osiris forever. Yeah, and the, did, like, the three player. Yeah, like these. The, the thing is, is like all this is different, you know. Yeah, that's we why I'm, we don't I'm know still any of it. Okay. Yeah. Because it's different. Yeah, that's why I'm still excited because it's social spaces. Yeah, there's only three new variety fac factions, by the way. Ooh, man, that's all from data mining, by the way. Can't yep. confirm that that's true, so. Stop but throwing out these theories and whatnot. It's not a theory because... <laughs> in data mining, they, they changed it. You can't data mine anymore. Also, data mining stuff changes. Wasn't there supposed that to be five factions when the game launched? There's not. Well, I'm with everything. About... That's what I'm saying. Like, no. Data mining is not always accurate. They change yes, it. Sure. They don't do it. Like Data mining almost all the time actually isn't. Like, probably half. I would say half and half. It's just, like, it's uncertain. I don't like data mining. I don't like it at all. It's dumb to me. Like, why do you... Also, yeah, why do you want to know stuff when they don't release it officially? You know, like, you could find out about all this through, like, some guy saying, I mean, oh, I data mined. Or you people. could find out from an awesome trailer or they a planned release. Because there's a new social space. Because they got to populate yeah. it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. There's definitely going to be at least... Charles Osiris. Yeah, there's definitely going to be at least, you know, at least one. You know, because, right. you know, House of Wolves right. kind of like Crodo well, worked, uh, but... Yeah, I yeah. think there will be more uh, factions because of... Specifically for Charles Osiris. 
Yeah, yeah. And they will be true. maybe. They will be there at the um Bestian outpost. I don't know, dude, is. actually, because all we know about Trousers Trials of Osiris is that like pretty much what we know yeah, about it is that it's a three armor. strike and you're out. As in you're eliminated. So yeah. can you really have a faction thing for that, you know? So mm. we'll, we'll have, have to see. wait and see about all of this. Because uh, they will be confirming and saying official statements yeah. <laughs> soon. They'll be talking about the reef on Wednesday, which is awesome. I, I'll be at work, but I'll come home and just immediately start watching that uh, past broadcast. Yeah, so it'll be. I, I don't know. I'm very excited about Destiny. I like. I like it a lot. I'm. I. I really did have fun doing bounties today. So, I don't know. Maxing out that same 14, like, once you max out a gun or a piece of armor, you feel good. You're like, I'm one step closer to having it all at my disposal. Like, imagine sure. Ryan, dude. He's so ready for House of Wolves. He has, he has like, everything. Every besides... piece of armor, almost every weapon, and, and everything he has is maxed. As in, he can just That's use he whatever he wants. A few. Oh, man. Bounties here. It's crazy. It's crazy. So... I'm definitely, I'm, I'm, yeah, we're excited. So, shows, mate, shows, as in, no Walking Dead. Uh, oh my gosh, Daredevil came out last week, right? Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I think we're gonna have to be here for two hours, mate. <laughs> uh -oh. I can't rush my Daredevil talk. That's, oh, dude. Oh man, I'm sorry. The main reason that I do this podcast is because I like talking about nerdy stuff. <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta talk about this. So let's see, let's let's talk about it in order of Arrow and Flash, and then talk about Daredevil, I guess. Good. Um, Flash on Tuesday. Yep. Let me think. Um, what, what happened? Uh, Emily oh. uh, Kinney. You know, Emily Beth. Kinney. Yeah, I didn't realize it until after the episode. <laughs> Beth <laughs> I was like, was wait the, a second, that's Emily Kinney. <laughs> she was the uh, the bug eyed bandit. Um, yeah. Caitlin, or no, freaking Felicity and uh, yeah, Felicity and Ray came over. It was pretty awesome. Um, yeah. That's pretty much all I can say about Flash. Flash was awesome, but not as insane as Arrow. Although in Flash they did they're suspicious. They're getting very suspicious yeah. of Wills. It's yeah, getting that's, there. That's what's awesome. Next like episode, they're they're gonna have like I think something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. Yeah, next episode they're gonna discover something. Like I think something does happen, in fact. In yeah, the, the, the next episode they're going to Starling City, Cisco and Joe, and they're gonna go investigate the car crash of when you know eobard thawne like took harrison oh Will's yes body. and that's where they find harrison Will's body they're like, his like this is or this is well right here <laughs> so yeah dude freaking gg freaking crazy dude, huh? what if they take us uh dna sample from wells and find out that it's thawne yeah it's possible and be like what <laughs> yeah. yeah so I, I don't know, dude. Like, it, we're getting real closer real. to, like, discovering stuff, which is crazy. We're all, we already know, but they don't know yet. Right. They, they're very suspicious. They're getting closer. It's good good for them. Good for those guys. Yeah. So, yeah, not too much insane stuff. So we can move on to Arrow. Um, yeah. Arrow. Arrow, gosh. Actually, they yeah. They up a notch. Yeah, they Arrow was. But, see, I Arrow think ever nine. since, ever <laughs> since, uh, the episode before this this one, the episode before this one, started Arrow on the path of being back to consistently awesome season two quality episodes. You know, like yeah. like before they were a bit inconsistent. Like some of them were horrible. Like there was one episode that was just awful, and then like after the episode before this one, we're back. Like. I feel like each week is going to be really, really good. Yeah. It makes me happy. So, big plot points. Uh, Roy in jail. Basically, yeah. spoilers. They, they... He dies. They killed Roy <laughs> and then cut to a cut scene, basically, as in cut to a commercial. And then they came back and they're like, psych! 
So, Roy's <laughs> not dead. They, like, um, basically what they did was Diggle and Felicity, like, planned it. Like, one of the guards was Diggle's yeah. buddy. So they, like, faked it very convincingly and then got him out of there. And now Roy Roy is, like, dead to the whole world. He's dead yeah. for, to like, in legal records and all that. But basically, one of the things is, like, before the episode ended, he got in a car and drove away. Yep. So no more Roy. It's kind of sad because he's, like, one of my favorite characters. But for real, Roy is my favorite character. But I don't see... I don't think he's actually gone for the season. I don't know. He's, dude, you know why? Why? Twitter didn't say any goodbyes. Colton didn't say a goodbye to the show. Mm-hmm. They, The directors, the writers didn't say sure. goodbye. Like, when Moira died, spoilers for season two, when Moira died, mm-hmm. the Twitter was blowing up with the Arrow writers being like, it was a pleasure Rip. to work with you. All the different actors were like, it was so much fun. Uh, it's mm-hmm. sad to see you go, blah, blah, blah. Roy didn't even reference well, the he episode. he die. Yeah, uh-huh. he did. But, like, if he did die, they... Well, no, not if he did die. If he did actually leave the show, like, for good, right. they would say, it's been a pleasure working with you, and right. blah, blah, blah. But they didn't say anything. Colton Haynes didn't even reference the episode on his Twitter. Oh, my gosh, yeah. So he's coming back somehow. I don't know how, but I, I don't know, dude, what's in store for Roy. Right. But there better be something in store for Roy, is all I have to say. Because <laughs> Roy's the best. And I really yeah. don't want to see him leave. He's a great character. And uh, after that, big plot, basically the biggest thing in the episode, Raish killed Thea. Freaking sliced Thea right in the belly. He killed her. Yep. So yeah, and that's how the killed episode it. ended. He killed her. And then, and then it was like, see you later. And she was like, uh, uh, and dead. Yep. So the, uh, the promo... Yeah. The promo for next week is them going to the Lazarus pit with Thea. <laughs> and Thea's Thea's gonna, being Thea's, submerged into it. Yup, she's going to get a little dip in the Lazarus pit. I'm so excited, dude. I, I love Arrow and Flash. They're so good. They're so good. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Like, this is this is insane season two quality stuff. This is even better than season two, actually. Because, like, how in the world are they going to fix all this? Everyone knows Oliver slash Roy or whatever is the arrow. He can't go back to being the arrow. Right. There's so much wrong. Because the whole show is called Arrow and he can't be the arrow anymore. It's crazy, dude. It's, oh, it's so good. What is he going to be from now on? It's so good. I don't know. But somehow he's like, after he kills Raish, I guess. (laughs) I don't think he's Um, good. I think he's, no, he's, he's going to become Raish, mate. Yeah. He just he just is, which is crazy. Like, I, I don't know. I can't wait to see the rest of the season. I love the show so much. It's awesome. Watch Arrow and Flash if you're not watching. Yeah. You know, to be honest, dude, I kind of feel like I kind of want to put Daredevil on the top on the Google Doc for next week, and then just spend like a whole topic talking we could, about we should, how awesome we should. Daredevil yeah, let's, let's just do because. That. People we, will, can, we can both talk about that. Yeah, and people yeah. might still be talk like watching it next week because not everyone has the time like we do. Right. So, first of all, all, all I have to say, Dead Oval is amazing, and we'll talk yeah. about it in length because it was a whole season. So we could talk yeah. about that for like 20 minutes. So, True. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about the whole season next week. Whole season one spoilers. It'll be awesome. Um... So yeah, yep. <laughs> extra long show today, dude. Yeah. Um, All right. The drope. Yeah, we'll talk about the drope. We'll uh, we'll cover that. We'll get on out of here. Right, this might open. be the longest show we've ever done. Maybe. Dang. Maybe. What is this? Uh, First I don't know. game on going, the drop. I'm going to it. Hold on. Assassin's Creed Chronicles. China. Oh, yep. I get that. I get that for free. Why? Because it's part of the Assassin's Creed Unity oh. Season Pass. It is a 2D side-scroller Whoa, action, that sounds cool. <laughs> action game. Sounds cool. You know what they did, by the way? What? They use Ezio's voice as like a voice of the tutorials. Okay. They don't even use his actor. Wow. It's horrible. 
is not what Ezio sounds like. It's disrespect to one of the best video game characters <laughs> of all time. Gee. And that's all I have to say. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to play with that. I, I, I might. Maybe. Assassin's Creed is so disappointing to me right now. Like, I... Yeah. They gotta do something huge to win me back as like a hardcore Assassin's nope, Creed. Nope, no more pre-orders for Assassin's Creed. Probably no not. More no. Probably not. I still might. I still might. Why succumb, do we? Why did we even not. Do Unity? I mean, come on. <laughs> well, we didn't know, mate. That was the first one, really. So, yeah. the drope, Ryan Clements, PlayStation Powerhouse, Assassin's Creed Chronicles, China, PS4. This, by the way, if you don't know, is what you can get on your PlayStation consoles of choice throughout the next week. So, there you go. In yes. the store update, which happens on Tuesday. After Assassin's Creed Chronicles, we have Infinity Runner for PS4. Which, yep. I don't know, it looks interesting. Mm -hmm, the that. largest space battle, spaceship ever built by mankind, flung into the void of space, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> L.A. Cops. Or PS4. <laughs> There's coffee Dude, and a donut. That's this so is, This is hilarious. I don't know what... The, I have no idea what this game is, but I'm tempted to look into it now. It just... It's called LA Cops. It's got a little cartoon graphic of a of a pistol, a badge, a coffee, and a donut. So and, stereotypical. And LA Cops PS4. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Partner up. And remember, in LA Cops, your buddy's always got your back. <laughs> He's got your back. So yeah, All right, then. Um, Odd World, it's Odyssey, new and tasty. That's the uh, one that was free like last uh, last month. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan. It wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad game though. Um, it's coming to PS3. Uh, Freeway cross by. Uh, th yeah, that actually might mean that you just get it for free on your PS3 if you had it downloaded on PS4. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, Sayonara Umi Harakawase. <laughs> Freaking Japanese games. Vita, where else where else is it going <laughs> yeah. but the Vita? Yeah, and true. then Ziggurat for PS4, and then and then the last but not least. Shovel Knight for PS4, the PS3, and PS shovels. Vita for digital three-way cross buy and cross save. I don't know about cross save, but hopefully PS Vita and PS4 cross save. I am so excited for Shovel Knight, dude. I'm buying I am I am buying that on Tuesday without a doubt. Like Shovel yeah. Knight, I've heard so many good things about Shovel Knight for like months and months. I'm I'm super excited for it. Yeah. I've heard the it's the best amazing. game on this list. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, definitely. I've heard it's uh I've heard it's it was in it was a nominee for like game of the year last year, so Wow. Definitely. It's it's but super good. The the one game here it's that so trumps good. it is Ziggurat, of course. Ziggurat, yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah, yeah, yeah. To be honest, that doesn't look bad. Yeah. Like read that read the description of that. Dungeon doesn't... crawling first person shooter at its finest, fast paced combat, dozens of perks, spells and enemies. Actually okay. it doesn't look too great. Random but dungeons. It sound horrible. Traps. Sounds yeah, like a sounds carrots. like a better tower of guns. <laughs> it literally says carrots. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It sounds like Tower of Guns, but like a little bit better. Yeah. I don't know. All right, well, that's a drop. Go buy Shovel Knight, play it. Uh, Pre-order that Elder Scrolls Online. Play some League of Legends. Yeah. Climb up that ranked ladder. Got to get to that get master, master master division. Play in the LCS. Uh, win money. Get women. What? <laughs> buy gunners. <laughs> <laughs> buy what? Buy gunners. Gunners, yes, Gunners, Mountain Dew, Doritos, all that. All, all that, that. Dude. Double X, get that double XP. Gotta get that double uh, XP, GTX right? GTX Titan. Gotta get... <laughs> <What>? <laughs> all right. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we'll get out of here. We'll get out of your hair. Let us know if you like the show. Share it to your friends. Follow me on Twitter episode. at TBStiak. Um, follow Eric on Twitter at, I think, Eric Bailey 15 right? Yes, yeah, Eric Bailey 15 Yeah. Um, Nothing special. Go to my YouTube channel. I don't do much, but I'm considering doing some other stuff. I might stream like a little bit. I've been thinking about that. Stream Shovel Knight. Maybe I will. Maybe I will stream Shovel Knight. That sounds like a good idea. So, uh, yeah. We will see you next week. Let's find something random in the room here. I can do it if <clears> you want. Uh, Yeah, sure. Go ahead. All right. Um, Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's going to be big. 
whatever it is. Oh, you know what it is, actually? In theme what? of this week's episode, let me put the camera on me. Oh, also, rate us on iTunes. There we go. Yeah. I don't know where mine went. I don't own a PS2 or a way to play this game, but I kept the disc. Well, I mean, you still have your uh, I PC. Can't play... Yeah, that's true. I have it on PC, but like, I literally just kept my PlayStation 2 disc of Star Wars Battlefront 2 because I love it so much. Like, yeah. I... So, yeah, people, audio listeners, I just held up my Star Wars Battlefront 2 game from PlayStation yeah. 2. So, yeah, I I love that game so much. Yeah. I mean, I have high hopes. Okay. Battlefront. Yeah. So, yeah, Star Wars Battlefront uh, 2 is your I random thing. Nice there you go. Eric. Stay, has stay fresh. Back. Stay fresh. Cool. Is it that cool. what you said about the Dasani? <laughs> I'm pretty Maybe. sure it is. <laughs> now you're just gonna uh, oh, say stay here, fresh. Here is this better? Right? I have a RuneScape card. <laughs> RuneScape card. Stay fresh. Yeah. Stay fresh. <laughs> stay fresh in your membership. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna go play League and get our butts handed to us, or we'll win. I don't know. We'll see you next week. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye.